I have been using Unreal Engine for several years now and throughout those years I have also stumbled across some incredibly helpful resources. Whether I was learning blueprints, jumping into C++ or just exploring new features, these resources kept showing up. So in this video I want to share 5 free resources with you that I personally recommend to anyone learning Unreal Engine. And stay till the end because I will be sharing one additional resource with you that not enough people seem to know about. So with that let's jump into the different resources. Personally I think one of the best ways to understand Unreal Engine is by diving in actual projects and seeing for yourself how things are done. For that Epic Games actually has you covered because there are many sample projects for Unreal Engine. One example project is the Lyra Starter game. This is a multiplayer shooter example directly developed by Epic Games and it is designed to showcase how you can utilize different aspects of Unreal Engine. Like the gameplay ability system, multiplayer, a modular framework and even a fully implemented UI. Even if you are not into shooters, taking Lyra apart can provide insights into structuring complex game systems for your games. Another gem is a content examples project. Think of it as an interactive museum which showcases different systems of Unreal Engine. It consists of many different maps demonstrating various features like animations, materials, physics, VFX and many more. Working through the different levels and interacting with the individual examples provides a hands-on approach for exploring the functionalities of the various systems Unreal Engine has to offer. And lastly, for those interested in creating visually engaging UI designs, the UI Material Lab might be right for you. It focuses on creating dynamic UI visuals using materials, offering animated buttons, progress bars and many more examples for UI effects. The underlying effects are separated into their individual parts so that you can easily comprehend how the final effect comes together. So this is a fantastic resource if you want to level up your UI skills. You can find all the mentioned example projects directly on Fab. Here you just have to add them to your library and then you can easily download them from the Epic Games launcher. Exploring these sample projects allows you to see direct implementations, understand best practices and also play with those implementations to take them to the next level. Moreover, with the release of Unreal Engine 5.6, Epic Games will introduce a collection of new game templates. These templates will serve as an excellent starting point, providing pre-built character controls and basic gameplay logic for different types of games. So keep an eye out for them. Next, when you are planning to learn C++ for Unreal Engine, you might find out that the official documentation is a bit lacking in certain parts. That's where Unreal Garden comes into play. This site offers a comprehensive overview of the many macros and their specifiers you can use in C++ for Unreal Engine. For example, you can check out the huge list of available U property specifiers with their description and examples. But Unreal Garden doesn't stop there. It also showcases more advanced topics like delegates and subsystems, providing tutorials that help you to understand how to implement those concepts in your projects. So if you are serious about learning C++ for Unreal Engine, this site is a must visit for you. And now a resource that you are already using at this very moment, YouTube. YouTube is often one of the first stops for many Unreal learners and rightfully so. Because of this, I want to share a few of the channels that helped me out throughout the years. Obviously, you should keep an eye on the official Unreal Engine channel. Here you can find many tutorials and overviews about the different systems and workflows in Unreal Engine. Not every video is beginner friendly, but you will get direct insights from the people who actually work on the engine. Additionally, you will be informed about changes or new systems coming to Unreal Engine in the future. 
but back in the day when I needed someone to really explain the basics, especially in blueprints, I turned to Ryan Laley. He has tons of beginner friendly tutorials and also series like Make Your First Game that walks you through building your first actual projects. He also dives into more focused systems like inventory, AI and even multiplayer, making it a great channel no matter where you are at in your learning journey. Now, if you are into visual effects, you should also know about OneMa FX. He shares his workflows for procedural textures, VFX setups and integrations with tools like Houdini and Substance Designer. It's a great channel for people aspiring to be technical artists or anyone looking to push the effects of their games to the next level. And if you want to learn more about materials in Unreal Engine, there is Ben Clovert. His channel is focused on teaching the material editor inside and out. From basic setups and fundamental concepts to complex procedural effects, Ben's tutorials are clear, in-depth and super helpful if you're trying to master shaders in Unreal. But of course, there are many more channels focused on Unreal Engine, like Prismatic Dev, Unreal Sensei, Matt Asplund, Gorka Games, Code Like Me, Matthew Wettstein Tutorials and many more. I really recommend you to check out the different channels to see which topics you are interested in and obviously which teaching style you prefer. But lastly, a quick shameless ad. Because my own channel focuses on Unreal Engine C++ tutorials and also more general Unreal Engine topics. So if you want to dive deeper into Unreal's programming side, bridging the gap between Blueprints and C++ or learn from my mistakes, then don't forget to subscribe. With that out of the way, let's talk about something you will come across a lot during your time in Unreal Engine, which is the Unreal Engine Forum. Whether you're searching for help with bugs, diving into discussions about the engine or seeking workflow tips, there's a lot of information shared by experienced developers and Epic Games staff on here. Furthermore, the forum also serves as a platform to showcase community projects and plugins. Browsing through these threads not only provides inspiration, but also offers a glimpse into how others approach game development with Unreal Engine. In essence, the Unreal Engine forum is more than just a support platform. It is a collaborative space where developers come together to share, learn and grow. If you haven't had the chance to check out the forum yet, I highly recommend browsing through it for a little bit. Now, before we jump into the last resource, as promised, I have one additional resource for you, which a big part of the community doesn't seem to know about you can directly access it through the forum page itself. I'm talking about the Unreal Engine Snippets Library. This is a dedicated section on the Unreal Engine website where developers can share bite-sized solutions for common challenges. Here you will not only find examples for C++, but also for blueprints, materials, widgets and many other Unreal Engine systems. Each snippet is neatly organized and you can even look at the visual preview of the node graph. From here, you can also copy the code, try it out and modify it in your own project. This is a fantastic way to learn by example, discover different approaches and even share your own techniques with others. Unfortunately, this part of the Unreal Engine platform is still somewhat underutilized by the community. But this also means it's a great opportunity for you to contribute your own snippets and help grow this valuable resource for Unreal Engine developers. And finally, a resource that I would recommend the most to check out, because it's easily one of the most valuable tools for learning Unreal Engine. I'm talking about the learning section on the official Unreal Engine website. Here you will find a huge library of video courses, many of which are organized into predefined learning paths tailored to specific goals. Whether that is game development, architecture visualization or virtual production. If you are a beginner in Unreal Engine, a great place to begin is the getting started section under the learning tab. 
It gives you access to beginner-friendly courses designed to help you build a solid foundation in Unreal. Here you can also find recommendations for more sample projects that you can explore and play around with. But the learning platform is not just for beginners. As an intermediate user, you can also look for courses about new systems that you want to learn more about. And if you don't want to look at community-created content, you can also filter the tutorials and courses to only show content created by Epic Games. So whether you are brand new or looking to deepen your knowledge, the Unreal Engine learning section provides a structured way to improve your Unreal Engine skills. But those were some of the free resources that really helped me to understand Unreal Engine. And most of them I am still using today. Which of these have you already tried? Or is there another one I should know about? Let me know in the comments. And check this video out if you want to know about the most common Unreal Engine beginner mistakes.